Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear student, inshallah, we are going to explain the last lesson in this unit, this chapter. Please listen to me carefully. Okay, let's go. The title of this lesson today is called Enzyme. Enzyme. Enzyme is a chemical substance produced by the body of living organism. Act as catalyst that increase the speed of biological reaction. So, what's the difference between enzyme and catalyst? Enzyme produced only inside produced only inside the body okay the human body contain thousand type of enzyme we are going to explain the properties of enzyme What are the properties of your enzyme? Enzyme, each type has a specific function. Each type has a specific function. All enzyme has an active site. The active site is particular, has particular shape in reactant molecule. Again, Each enzyme, each enzyme, all enzyme has have active site. What's the site? The active site is very important in the actant molecule. A molecule of one enzyme can do its function million times per minute, per minute. Again, a molecule of one enzyme can do its function million times per minute. A biological reaction that occur in the presence of enzyme are more rapid than that without the enzyme thousand times. At temperature above 45 Celsius degree, the denure of enzyme occur. Or the enzyme decreases its act, act, a, a action. Decrease its action. Its action. Okay. Again, what's the meaning of what's the meaning of uh, enzyme? Enzyme. They are the chemical substance. Chemical substance. Produced by the living body, produced by or inside the living body of living organisms, act as catalyst. Act as catalyst that increase the speed of biological reaction. Okay, so the important role of enzyme increase the biological reaction. The human body contains thousand type of enzyme. Properties of the enzyme. The first one, each enzyme has a specific function. Each type have, has a specific function. All enzyme has active site. What is this? What's the important active site? Active site is a particular shape in molecular uh, reactant molecule. A molecule of in one enzyme can do its function million times per minute. The biological reaction that occur in the presence of enzyme are more rapid than without enzyme. At a temperature above 45 degrees 
the function decrease the function of the function of enzyme decrease the last one the last one the enzyme are responsible for vital function inside the living bodies so without enzyme man can never press or move or digest food okay there are six properties of enzyme if anyone don't understand please raise your hand Yes, Omar. Yes, Mr. I didn't understand the example. I don't uh, explain. Uh, not, sorry, sorry. Uh, number six. Number six? Okay. Yes. Listen to me carefully. Number six means enzymes are responsible for vital function. What are the vital function in the body? Number one, respiratory, respiration, digestion, uh, excretion. Okay, all this vital function in the body. All this function need enzyme to create this function. Okay, if the enzyme don't found in the body, this is the vital function not occur, not take place. So the enzyme are responsible for vital function in the body. Without function, without enzyme, the man can't never can't press move or digest food. Understand it now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mister, I think you told before that if you heated the enzyme to 45 degrees, uh, the function is reduced. Yes? Yes, yes. The material is reduced. But, uh, uh, I think uh, the enzyme doesn't work if you heat it over 45 degrees Celsius. Okay, that's the same. If the enzymes found in temperature or environment more than 45 degrees Celsius, the function, this is the enzyme dysfunction or don't uh, activate. Okay? Okay. Anyone has any question? Okay, this point is okay. Next point, we are going to take an example of enzyme. Example, hydrogen peroxide, peroxide is produced normally inside our body, which is harmful for our body. So it must be decomposed very rapidly. The enzyme which is responsible for uh, decomposed of hydrogen peroxide, peroxide is catalyst, catalyst, uh, catalase enzyme, catalase enzyme. It's called catalase enzyme. Catalase enzyme is uh, convert hydrogen peroxide into harm of harmless product water and oxygen look in this equation hydrogen peroxide catalyst is uh, enzyme is catalase decompose hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen this equation represented by 2 h2o2 and found in this enzyme catalase converted to 2H2O water and oxygen O2. Again, hydrogen peroxide is a harmful substance found in our body, our body. So it must be decomposed very rapidly. The enzyme which is responsible for decomposed of hydrogen peroxide, peroxide is called catalase enzyme. Catalase enzyme. This enzyme converts hydrogen 
oxide into two compounds, into two elements, water and oxygen. Okay? Water and oxygen is less harmful for our body. Understand this point? If anyone don't understand the example, raise your hand. Yes, Hashem. Hashem. Mr. Can you explain the example again? Raise your voice. Uh, Mr. Can you explain the example again? Okay. Listen to me carefully. Hydrogen peroxide is a harmful product found in our body. Okay? So it's, it must be decomposed very rapidly. How? By enzyme called catalase enzyme. Catalase enzyme. This enzyme converts hydrogen peroxide into harmless product like water and oxygen. Okay, this equation represented by hydrogen peroxide and found in catalase enzyme converted to water and oxygen. This equation represented by the symbol 2H2O and found in catalase enzyme converted to 2H2O plus O2. Understand now, Hashim? Yes, yes, Mr. Our lesson today uh, is finished, okay? I will make um, revision the preceding lesson, okay? Anyone has a question in enzyme? Okay, now we are going to explain the preceding lesson, chemical reaction again. As the first, we are going to explain what's the meaning of chemical reaction. Chemical reaction means breaking up of bonds and molecules of reactant and formation of new bonds and molecules of product. Okay? So, in the equation, our chemical reaction composed of two parts reactant and product. Reactant uh, in during chemical action, breaking up of bonds or in, in molecule of uh, reactant and new bonds form normal at product. But factor affecting the rate of chemical reaction. Number one, the nature of reactant. Number two, the concentration of reactant. Number three, the temperature of reactant. Number four, catalyst. Natural of reactant. Increase the surface of reactant, increase the rate of huh? increase the rate of chemical action. Because increase the surface of reaction, increase the formation of colloids, and so increase the formation of product. This is the first one. The second one. Concentration of reaction, reactant. Increase the concentration of reactant, increase huh? the increase the product, okay? Because increase the surface, the surface, uh, increase the colloids and increase the uh, product. Okay, we give example for concentration of reactant by when the sodium sulfate reacts with sodium hydrochloric acid, 
it gives sodium chloride and sulfur dioxide, water, and sulfur. We make simple experiment to explain this. Two flasks sodium sulfate, different concentration of HCl. If a concentration on a concentration will dilute or concentrate HCl, or different concentration of uh, sodium sulfate and fix the concentration of HCl and a uh, no different. Put the same amount of sodium sulfate in the flask A and B, add to flask A the new HCl and the same amount of concentrate HCl to flask B and B. Observation, there is yellow precipitate of sulfur is formed. More yellow precipitate of sulfur is formed in flask B than in flask A. Sorry, this A. Why? Because the product of reaction are formed as collisions between the excess particle. There are more particles in a more concentrated solution, and the collisions are rate between reactant is higher. Okay, this factor can be represent by this graph. Okay, this means when the concentration of the reactant increase, the rate of reaction increase. Okay, concentration increase, the reaction, the rate of reaction increase. Okay. Temperature of chemical reaction, the rate, the, mo the rate of most chemical reaction increase by increasing the temperature of the reaction, causing increase the movement of molecule and increase the number of collisions between them and increase constructive. The reaction between sodium the same, the same example, the reaction between sodium sulfate and hydrochloric acid can also be used to explain this factor. This factor is represented by a temperature and time of take to. When the temperature is low, it takes long time. When the temperature is high, it takes it take short time. When temperature is low, 20 degrees Celsius, it takes more time, 40 minutes. 100, 140. When the temperature becomes scarcity, it takes short time, it takes 20 minutes only. Okay, Adam. Okay, so increase the temperature, decrease the time to take uh, during chemical reaction. Catalyst. What's the meaning of catalyst? Catalyst is a substance which speeds the chemical reaction changing. Catalyst is a chemical substance which speeds up the chemical Reaction. There are two types of catalysts, positive and negative. Positive mean increase the speed of the chemical reaction. Negative slow down the chemical reaction. The chemical properties of catalyst. Chem uh, common properties of the catalyst. Number one. No chemical change or decrease in the mass occurred to the catalyst. Number one, they change the speed of reaction, but don't affect uh, the beginning or stopping. So the catalyst don't initiate the reaction or stop the reaction. They change only speed of reaction, increase or decrease. The first properties of catalyst. 
increase or decrease the speed of reaction, but don't initiate or stop the chemical reaction. The first one. The second one, no chemical change or decrease in the mass occurred to the catalyst before or after the reaction. So the catalyst here, when enter the reaction, don't change its mass before or after the reaction. Number three, they are bonded to the reactant during the reaction, but get separated from them rapidly. Number four, they decrease the energy used or needed for the reaction. Number five, they are used in a few amounts which are often enough to complete the reaction. They are used in few amounts which are often enough to complete the reaction. There is a simple experiment uh, explains the effect of catalyst on the rate of action. The tools, hydrogen dioxide, manganese dioxide, and two test tube A and B. Procedures, put the equal amount of hydrogen dioxide into test tube A and B to the same amount of hydrogen dioxide. Put in test tube P a small amount of manganese dioxide. So the manganese dioxide put in test tube P only. Observation, the amount of bubbles in the test tube P which contain manganese dioxide is greater than uh, the other. Conclusion, manganese dioxide is a positive catalyst that increases the speed of breaking up the hydrogen dioxide into water and oxygen. This represented by hydrogen dioxide and found in catalyst, a catalyst. Manganese dioxide produce water and hydrogen. We are going to take some example of chemical processes and the catalyst used. Listen to me carefully in this point. This is a new point in catalyst. There are some example of chemical processes and the catalyst used. The process, Haber process, Haber process. This process used in manufacturing of ammonia. Again, some example of chemical reaction, chemical process and the catalyst used. Process called the Haber process. This process used to manufacture of ammonia. The catalyst here is iron. Catalyst here is iron. Oxidation. The process called oxidation used to convert ammonia to nitric acid. Used to convert ammonia to nitric acid. The catalyst here is platinum. Hydrogenation. Hydrogenation. This process converts unsaturated oil to form fats in manufacturing of margarines. Again, convert unsaturated oil to form fats. This, the, the catalyst here is nickel. <coughs> Con, contact process, contact process. This process is used to uh, manufacture of sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. The catalyst here is vanadium oxide. Vanadium oxide. Again, the process Haber, manufacturing of ammonia, catalyst iron. Oxidation, convert ammonia to nitric. The catalyst here is platinum. Oxi uh, hydrogenation, convert unsaturated oil to form fats, manufacturing of margarine. The catalyst here is nickel. Contact process, manufacture of sulfuric acid. The catalyst here is vanadium oxide. Okay. <coughs> this 
there is a special uh, point we are going to bring it now. It's called catalytic converter. Catalytic converter. What's the meaning of this catalytic converter? This advice is advice exists in most modern car to treat harmful gases emitted from the engine. This advice put it in modern car to convert the harmful gases which are produced from the engine to harmless gas. Okay? So catalytic converter act as catalyzed. Okay? To convert the harmful gases emitted from the engine to harmless gas. The structure is composed of ceramic cell convert, covered with thin layer of metallic metal as platinum or palladium. Importance. What's the importance? On a change or treatment of harmful gases emitted from car engine. The idea of this of operation, number one, ceramic cell are similar to B cell, which increase the surface area of the catalytic substance, exposure to the current of emitted gases from, from the engine, so as the economism, the use of expressive metal. Number two, uh, the catalytic, the catalyst increases the speed of reaction, the speed of reaction uh, of treatment of the harmful gas emitted from the engine. In um, this point, need what's the meaning of catalytic converter? is a metric or device which put it in modern car to treatment harmful gases emitted from the engine. Only this point, we need this point only, okay? Catalytic converter is a metallic or device put it in modern car to convert harmful gases emitted from the engine. Well, I finish my... Uh, Division. Anyone has any question? Please raise your hand. Hour. Yes, hour. Uh, Mister, if there is a catalytic converter which which prevents the harmful gases, why is there still global warming? Okay. Is uh, related to catalyst. Like if, if the catalytic converter already pre prevents the harmful gases, then why is there still global warming? Convert, convert harmful. Because it contains catalyst material like plutonium. Plutonium converts the harmful gases okay, to less harmful gases. The harmful gases produced from uh, engine of car, like carbon monoxide, nitrogen monoxide, convert in carbon dioxide, convert it to carbon dioxide, less harmful than uh, carbon monoxide. And nitrogen monoxide, convert it to nitrogen dioxide, which is less harmful than nitrogen dioxide, monoxide. Okay. So the still, the, the, so the harmful gas is still there, but it is less harmful than the other one. No, no, no. Than the previous Not one. still. It converts, change from this state to another state. Okay. Not still in the engine. Okay. Okay. Any yes, question? Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. So we are finished my uh, this today. Any question before end this meeting? Thank you and see you soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.